What is up, YouTube? I got interrupted in the middle of what I was doing by real life stuff, and now I have no idea what I was working on. Ooh, I think I was getting oil over here, but was I building something? Yes, I was. I was making engines. I think it was engines. Yes, pipe gear steel. That's it. And I had it in my hotbar. I had it selected. Where's the assembly machines? These. Okay. How many engines am I going to need? That many. Wow, that's a lot of biters up there, and I see red lighting up. Being damaged, but not destroyed so far. Okay, so I'll have to get up there at some point. Oh, I remember I kind of wanted to reverse these two belts. How hard would that be? Probably more of a pain than I need. I think it's going to be craft time that limits me here. But we do need more of these. Let's make even more um, short iron plate. Okay, I would like you to make engines for me. Yes. You can't reach to paste in the settings. I get it when it's you can't reach to like pick something up or to do something where you're physically interacting in this digital world. But pasting settings, come on. Do I want I think I want engines to go up because they are used in crafting science packs, which I'll be doing somewhere up there, I think. Although engines might be used for a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure. That's okay. What do I want to do? See more flashing. Okay. So this is engines, sulfur, and advanced circuits. What do advanced circuits need? Plastic bars. Other than that, not too much. So, the question now is, do I run plastic bars and sulfur over here? And I think I do. Ah, <sighs> more damage. Hey! That's a problem. So, how far out do I want to go to defend from stuff like that happening? further out I go, the more chance that they can leak by unless I completely wall it off, which I do need to do eventually. Ooh, I have a ton of wall. But are they just going to come in and destroy my ton of wall? Yes, they probably are. Do I use the natural environment? I feel like, yeah. Because why not? Hmm. Here I think I just go straight down. And I see a giant lake down there. Can I just connect to that? Well, I'm going to hit some natural cliff. Hmm. 
Natural cliff. More crap. Good news is, while this isn't like a straight line lot of space, it's a lot of area. Which, I think that's good for me. Should I just be curving back to this? Yeah, probably. So right now I've got two main series going. I've pretty much quit on the others because they didn't interest me as much, at least for recording. But I'd like to get a third going. So I'm having a lot of fun with the Gemcraft tower defense type game. I wish there were more tower defense games that were good, but there aren't really. I'm liking this game a lot. And then I'm thinking... I want to do like maybe a Rimworld or a Kenshi, or there's another game that's less known that's called Caves of Cud. That would be more like short term, you play a new character kind of every couple days because you die in it, where Rimworld would be like a long series probably, like this one's going to be, and Kenshi would probably be a pretty long series, or maybe a couple different ones. The cool things about RimWorld and Kenshi are there are mods for them. Caves of Cud, it's pretty vanilla, it's pretty niche, but it's a cool game. Back when I played it, which was forever ago, it was a lot of fun. Okay, let's at least get a couple guns down. Oh, I'm just standing. Yeah, yeah. Let's give this half of my ammo. I guess that's all the guns I'm going to get down for the moment. I need to start... Really, I need to have these get made automatically. It's just... Copper, iron, and gear wheels. Oh, wait, I didn't finish... Yeah, I did finish walling because I went to there. But I'll need to connect this bottom part over here straight up I'm gonna say starting there beautiful Not so beautiful. Work with the environment instead of just building completely boxes. Mostly boxes, but boxes that interact with the environment or hit the environment. Okay, now this wall should be completely redundant. And I don't think I really want it. Yeah, because that was a new wall anyways. And these guns take a while to craft. Okay, I should pick up the inserters before the guns just so that it doesn't drop ammo on the ground. And then I have to hit F to pick it up. For right now, I'm going to leave those guns. Okay, and I wanted to see where I was getting damaged. Then I'll come back and I'll set up gun manufacturing. Yeah, that ammo's probably not going quick enough, and I think it's because of steel. Um, why is there no inserter to this one? Are 
there any others that are missing inserters? I don't think so. And I think steel just takes a long time to cook. Really, I was thinking, should I put more steel here? But I should be putting that steel somewhere else. It's just then I have to run it back here. Um, do I want more steel here just for the guns? I kind of do. Or just for the ammo. Alternatively, don't I have new smelter things, new furnaces? Where are furnaces? Steel furnace. Crafting speed 2 versus crafting speed 1. And these... Yeah, I think that could help me. How many more am I making? Let's make a bunch. Because eventually I probably want to replace all of these with them too. Yeah, because now I'm going to eat through the iron even quicker. But this might help my steel keep up. This poor inserter, until it gets backed up, I don't think it'll grab off that corner. No, things are being destroyed. Those are the ones that I just placed. This one's on a corner, too. Yeah, I'm gonna come save you. Actually, by the time I get there, they're gonna have run to some gun anyways. Let's get these steel. Getting more iron to them. So that I'll have more ammo. So that things won't break down and kill me too much. Let's see. Can I get out through here? Or will this hit more natural terrain? Looks like I can get out here. I feel like I had this connected before. No? Oh, and I can just run through here? That's not good. Bad, bad, not good. That would be a good thing for me to pay attention to in the future. Where did these biters get off to? They just decided to leave? Urgh. Okay, make sure I can't squeeze through. Guns. I don't have much ammo to give these guns. Oh, actually I kind of do. There we go. A single gun. It's better than no guns. Okay, got rid of all my yellow ammo. Why do I not have a bunch of transport belt? Because I didn't pick any up. Let's go get some transport belt. I'm gonna need a ton of that. But this base expansion should give me plenty of room for production, I think. It'll mostly be that I need to go get more resources after this. Do I have another gate? Can I build another gate? I can. Let's put a gate right there. Okay, I wanted you. What else do I need? I could use inserters. Just go shopping for all the stuff I need. Inserters. What else do I need? Iron and steel. Oh, 
Okay. Why are these not... Oh, just it's backed up. Okay, backed up is fine. I could be making more undergrounds, but wow, I forgot to limit this. <laughs> I have all the undergrounds I'll ever need. Did I limit this? I did. So that's where all my iron is. It's in underground pipes right now. I did finish all my research, right? Yes, for right now. Until I get blue science, which I'm not that far off from. So now the question is, do I automate my guns? I don't think I do. As much as I'd like to, I think I just handcraft the guns while I run up and get my belt run for sulfur and for plastic. And if stuff gets damaged, then I'll go run over there and I'll place more belts. That has a mix of copper and stone, but I already knew that. I should probably be pulling the stone off earlier. And eventually I will. I will also probably need more undergrounds. I can't build more undergrounds because I used all my iron to make guns. Okay. Just gonna go straight over this way. Of course you can't reach that far. And put a larger power pole. No, missed one. There we go. And where exactly do I want to be going? Who knows? Every time I see the blinking on the map, I end up looking there. Grabs my attention for a second. I just go out through there. I think so. Can I make it all the way under these? No, because I don't have enough undergrounds. And I'm not producing undergrounds anywhere. And I need iron. That's a bunch of iron. Where's my normal transport belt? Didn't I just pick up like 400 of that? God, I used a ton. It's being produced fairly quick though, because it refilled that box in that time. Okay, now the question was, can I span this? And the answer seems to be no. Which means, I need to do that, which also means I need to move those, which finally means I need power poles, and I wouldn't mind building more power poles. Okay, how am I for undergrounds? 18, I might want more than that. I know that I'm going to need more. Oh, 
Wait, I need... That, okay. And I feel like some of those belts are backwards. Maybe not. No, actually they're fine, I think. Okay, these are going down. It's getting dark. I should be building lights probably, but I have a flashlight, come on. And I like the moodiness a bit. It sets the atmosphere. All right. I'm going to call it for this episode, and next time I'm going to hopefully get blue science going and start researching. All right, thanks for watching.